In a world brimming with unsolved enigmas and uncharted mysteries, journey with us as we unravel the tales that challenge our very understanding. Welcome to Beyond Belief, Yuna's Mysteries, and I am Yuna Waters. If you're seeking stories that tread the fine line between reality and the inexplicable, you're in the right place. Join us on this incredible odyssey, and don't forget to subscribe to Venture Beyond the Known and into the realm of Beyond Belief. In the picturesque setting of Maine's Allagash Waterway during the summer of 1976, a profound event unfolded an event that would later be remembered as one of the most debated and meticulously documented alien abduction narratives in history. Four college companions, twin siblings Jack and Jim Weiner, accompanied by Chuck Rack and Charlie Foltz, set out into the Allagash wilderness. All budding artists from the Massachusetts College of Art, they traded their brushes for fishing poles, seeking peaceful memories. Yet, the recollections they would cultivate were far removed from any of their expectations. During their expedition, they anchored themselves at Eagle Lake. Unsuccessful in their fishing and with dwindling provisions, they opted for night fishing. As a safety measure, they ignited a colossal campfire on the coast, hoping it'd serve as their lighthouse upon return. But as they drifted on the inky lake, the stillness was shattered. A radiant sphere, outshining all stars, lingered above the trees, cycling colors from red and green to a muted yellow. With an estimated expanse of 80 feet, this luminous entity glided silently. Charlie Foltz, driven by curiosity, flashed an SOS with his torch towards the orb. But their curiosity swiftly morphed into horror as the sphere surged towards their vessel. Their heartbeats raced as they paddled, trying to outrun the encroaching beam of light. Yet before their escape was complete, a void beam ensnared them. Moments seemed to blur, and when clarity returned, they stood ashore, greeted by the sight of their once blazing campfire reduced to smoldering cinders, hinting at a lapse of hours. The haunting question arose, what transpired during the lost hours? As the days rolled on, the weight of that enigmatic night lingered. Jack Weiner found himself trapped in recurring night terrors, visions of beings with vast metallic eyes and elongated necks observing him. The others, too, began reliving fragments of that night, each vision a mirror to the other's recollections. A decade later, in 1988, Jim Weiner chanced upon a UFO conference led by Raymond Fowler. Their story piqued Fowler's interest leading to the suggestion of regression hypnosis under Anthony Constantino's expertise. Each man, in isolation, delved into the recesses of their memories, surfacing with chilling tales of abductions, distressing examinations, and samples being extracted aboard the alien craft. Awakening from their hypnotic state, indignation coursed through them, resenting their unsolicited capture. Chuck Rack described his struggle to focus on these beings as akin to tuning a hazy radio channel. However, subsequent psychiatric evaluations and polygraph tests underscored their mental integrity. Today, as the Allagash saga continues to captivate many, particularly through Fowler's book, The Allagash Abductions, one is left ruminating on the enigma. Anthony Constantino, after spending hours with these men, remarked, After engaging with those gentlemen, I was petrified, and I remain so. I sense they were tagged akin to how we label animals for research. 
As we draw the curtains on another enthralling chapter, we're reminded that the universe, with all its complexities and enigmas, beckons us to keep searching, keep questioning. Stay tuned for more mysteries that challenge our perceptions and invite us to think beyond the horizon. If you've enjoyed this journey, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, in the vast expanse of the unknown, only those who dare to believe uncover the truth. Until next time, keep seeking, keep believing.